Hey guys, it's Jag. Let me be blunt. I apologize for yesterday's recordings, even though I threw up those episodes two on one day. Half of that was to reward you guys for waiting on me, and half of that was to get the pain over with. I've been playing with some new audio processing software. As you can see, I didn't quite have it polished in those, in those recordings. So I went to re-record, that's why those episodes went up late. But in the middle of re-recording, my audio engine crapped out on me and I didn't realize it. So now, I'm super paranoid that this audio engine's gonna crap out on me again. Long story short, I like the processing software, but it's kind of sent those two recordings to hell. I'm going to be very careful about this recording. So, hopefully this recording actually comes out well and you guys like the new processing that I've got and it doesn't crap out on me. But, as I said, I know that those last two episodes are going to be painful to listen to and I apologize for that. But at that point, I had no choice but to do what I could in, in editing to make unbearable, put them up because I don't have a way to go back and recover that. I didn't want to stick you guys with a crapped out record. Anyways, that out of the way. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's jump back into just another game, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Last time, we freed the Pirate Master. We went here to check on him and blow up his island, and it didn't go well, and he kidnapped Risky and took off. This time, we're gonna, like I said in the last episode, it's gonna be pretty much of a clip episode of all the upgrades and collectibles in the game that we can get before we hit the Pirate Master in the final dungeon. So, our first stop is going to be Scuttletown. I have to remember, I'm, that recording threw me off. We're headed back to Scuttletown. Uh, we're going to pick up a few more Cackle Bats. We're going to get that heart upgrade that we've been staring at the entire game. And then we're going to see where we go from that. Well, Steam Power Oceanic Tinker Tail Mark. Looks like it's just you and me now. Let's see if I've really got what it takes to be a pirate. Avast you wet dogs, it's time to swab the plate. It's the main snail. Kill the poor lover. Hi, Captain. She's so cute. Alright, off to Scuttletown. I will see you guys outside the mayor's pit, where we've been going the entire game. We're gonna cross that now. See you in a minute. Alright, that was a quick jump, but now that we've got Risky's boots, her cannon, and her hat, we can finally cross this gigantic pit and see what's on the other side. But first, let's talk to the mayor and see uh, what he wants to eat. Secret land has finally fallen. This is truly the end of everything ever. Still, I want to eat nine bento boxes right now. Have any for me? You're gonna explode, dude. No, I don't. This is his final request, and if you fulfill it, you get 800 gems. We don't have quite enough, but there's no shortage of bundle boxes to be found, so go farm them and get rich. I probably will get some of the final upgrades, and I actually need to pay attention to what I'm doing. This is pit. Let's go, see how many times it takes us. You can tell I might have practiced this a couple of times. Scrapped recording. On the other side, we have one of our first of many final cackle bats. Beat the crap out of him, take his dark magic, and then go ahead back to Scuttle Town and I'll see you guys at the next upgrade. Okay, so here we are back at the forest, and as you can see, it's been taken over by some Mudbug Island baddies. Now, one thing I should bring up right now. I have two files. I have a practice file, and I have a recording file. When I went to try to recover all that gameplay data from the bad post-processing, I was back on my 
practice file because I'd already saved past that point in my recording file. So if you saw any difference in my collectibles or anything like that, that's why. Now we're back on the regular file, so everything should match up. Now, if you jump to this branch that you just saw over the forest entrance, obviously we're going to get to a cackle bag. So, grab his dark magic. And then we're gonna head up one more one more uh, collectible in this area and then move on to Spiderweb Island. We're not quite gonna be done in uh, Scuttle Town, but we're gonna be close. And I wanna save one Cackle Bat for the very end. Because, number one, I'm afraid that we might run into, into st story. Number two, I kinda wanna make sure that we leave one out. Anyways, now that we have the cannon upgrade, we can go to the top of the forest where this heart squid has been the entire time, and finally grab him. Now, off to Spiderweb Island. Alright, we only have one more thing to get on Spiderweb Island, and not only is it in Spiderweb Island, it's actually in the Lost Catacombs. Remember this happy little heart squid? Couldn't find a way to get to him from below, or from the side, because you need the cannon upgrade to get this guy. The only way to approach him is from below. So let's get to it. How many tries is this going to take me to show off? The hat also helps here for obvious reasons, but you should already have it, and there we go. That was much easier than I thought. Now, all done on Spiderweb Island, it's off to Tanline Island. See you guys there. Alright, and on Tanline Island, we only have one Cacklebat and one Heart Squid to collect. As for the Cacklebat, we saw him earlier. Remember when we discovered this hole in the ground after giving the Golden Pickaxe to the Head Miner? Well now, obviously, we have the upgrade we need to come get him. Let's rescue him from his prison. Hop across these cylinders. Should, uh, we can not jump. Eat it. Get ahead, beat this guy so we can get a good head start. And go straight through into him. Spear him right through the gut. Beat the crap out of him. Get his dark magic. And on to the next collectible. As for the heart squid, we're back in Lost Catacombs on Tan Line Island. Remember this big square room with all the spiky platforms? Well, if you're a good jumper, you can get the heart squid early, but it makes more sense to come back here once you have the cannon up. Then all you have to do is jump, jump, glide, and snag on. That completes Tanline Island, so we're off to Mudbog Island. Yay! Alright, now the first cackle bat we're gonna get, I chalk up to my complete and utter panic and come into Mudbog Island. We actually saw him. I thought we needed an upgrade to get to him because I didn't recognize that these are the soft bricks that you can just beat with your hair. That's a major fail on my part. So let's just make up for it and grab him now. In the same area, we're gonna find one of the heart squids that we're at. So there will be no cut because he's right nearby. You do need the cannon upgrade to get to him. He was up on this upper ledge that we couldn't reach before. Easy peasy. Alright, now we'll do now we'll cut to the next area. Alright, and now for our third Kecklebat on Mudbog Island. As soon as you come into the second part past the uh that's the spooky dude. His name I'm spacing out right now. Use your cannon to jump across to this opening on the upper right. And you'll find a little room with him. Not too difficult. Give me your magic. Alright, one more cut, because the next one's a little bit tricky. Now, we saw this collectible when we were on Mudbog Island before, and we did have the upgrade that we needed for it. However, I thought it was going to be easier to approach it from above. I'm willing to give it a shot from below a couple of times to see the natural way to do this. If not, then we'll try it from above. You need to start at the very edge, get a good running. Oh, 
That was actually much easier than I thought it would be going to be. I was making it far more complicated. Anyway, that's all you have to do, so you can't get it from above. I'm a fool. Always good to show that off on camera. That should wrap up Mud That should wrap up Mudbog Island, so off we go back to Frostbite Island. I'm using a pirate flag. Apparently I'm gonna use it elsewhere. See you guys there. Alright, and the next collectible we're going to get is in the Abandoned Factory. Remember we saw that heart squid that we couldn't get from above? Well, this is where you approach it from below. It's the room with, obviously, all the mummies that like to charge at you. Just jump on this platform and cannonball up. And snag them like that. Alright, that's actually everything in the Ancient Factory, so we're off to Propeller Town. See you in a minute. On our way to Propeller Town, we come across something you can pick up with no upgrades whatsoever. Once you get one past the screen with the save old man in this area, take the low road. You'll find a, a cacklebat out in the open. You know what to do. Kill him for his deliciousness. Alright, now for our first collectible in Propeller Town. Remember when we were on our way to find Bolo, we found this hole in the ceiling? Now we can see what's up there. It's a happy little heart squid who just wants to be smashed down into life for us. Let's grab him and make his dreams come true. See you in a minute. Alright, and on the very next screen, remember this updraft right before you see Bolo? Let's jump into it, go all the way to the top, then cannon jump onto this platform. And... You get a whole new section to explore. And die. But you should be rewarded for your troubles with a cackle bat. So, I'm gonna be a little bit quiet. I'll make my way there. There he is. He is the last Cacklebat on Frostbat Island, and the next to last one that we're getting in the game. And what that means, we are finally done with hunting these guys down, because the last one is a piece of cake, and we could have gotten a lot, gotten him a lot sooner, but I've been holding off on him. That means that we should be up to almost 20 dark magic. See ya, the last squid we're going to collect. On our way to the next upgrade, I decided to stop by Bolo and congratulate him for saving us all. Let's see what he has to say. Hey Shanti, did you notice my act of heroism earlier? You mean the way you sabotaged the Anno Baron's machine? Huh? You know, so the weapon would fire and miss the palace entirely? Uh, and hit the Techno Baron instead? Not following. You really are a hero, Bolo. And a genius. Oh, I'm just so proud of you. Really? Yes. So, where are your glasses? Oh, those. I dropped them. They fell. Down there in the snow. It's a shame. I swallow. <sighs> Bolo, never change. You're awesome. Alright. So awesome. All the upgrades want to hang around here.
finally we can get up to the top of this screen and collect our last heart squid in the game get in my life bar that's it that is all the islands all the islands completed let's head back to the boat and check him out That is one thing of beauty, with a little bit of a flaw left to get. Let's go ahead and turn in all the squids, upgrade my life bar, and then we're gonna call it an episode there, guys. This might have been a little bit of a long one, but I hope it was worth it for you. And we've got nothing left to do in the game, guys. Next episode is going to be the grand finale of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Hope to see you guys then. Thanks for joining me today, and y'all have a great day. Later.